God, ask your Holy Spirit to speak through me, ask in your name, and for your sake, come in. For hundreds of years, people trusted the King James Bible since 1611, and it has stood the test of time. Many more people have been saved using this Bible than any other since it was published. I want you to think about it. Why all of a sudden today have they come up with so many new translations of the Bible? Go into any Christian bookstore and you can find an entire shelf, sometimes an entire section, of different Bible translations. There's the King James Version, the New King James Version, and the Revised Standard Version. There's the Holman Christian Standard Bible and the English Standard Version and the New Living Translation and the New International Version. And then to top it all off, many of these have other editions like the Military Edition, the Sports Edition, the Men's and Women's, and Teenagers and Students and Business Persons Editions. Why? I want you to think about two Bible verses. 1 Corinthians 14.33 and 2 Timothy 3.13. 1 Corinthians 14.33 says, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. And 2 Timothy 3.13 says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So we are living in the age of deception today. And things over the centuries have gotten worse and worse as the Bible predicted. So I want you to think about it. Is there really a need for all these new translations? Why are there suddenly so many new translations? I want you to think about it. Is there really a need? The King James Bible has stood the test of time for centuries people used and trusted this Bible translation. Then suddenly, inexplicably, you have all these new translations all of a sudden. Why? I marvel that people believe that they need new translations of the Bible that has been trusted for centuries by people. It's like they have a lot of nerve. It's like they think the 20 generations or so before them that trusted the King James Bible are dummies and that they are quote unquote so smart that they trusted by 20 generations before them it is suddenly no longer quote unquote good enough today. So they'll come up with all these new translations because all of a sudden to this generation they know more than the 20 previous generations and can quote unquote improve on a version King James which has been trusted for centuries now. Do you see? I marvel at the conceit. But you see, we are living in the end times and the devil is using this to create a bunch of translations to create confusion as it says in 1 Corinthians 14.33. Because the devil is the author of confusion. Because we are nearing the return of the Antichrist. I believe because... I believe we're nearing the time of the Antichrist because our generation has witnessed fulfillment of certain prophecies in the Bible signaling that we're living in the season of the end times. I believe the sudden presence of all these new translations not only changes key words, passages such as John 3.16, which I'll cover later in the sermon, but also this, these new translations that have come about us, they cause unsaved people to question to question the Bible because there are now so many differing translations to choose from today. So they think, these people that are unsafe think if Christians can't even agree on a translation, maybe the Bible is quote unquote just literature and not God's Word. And this is exactly what the devil wants these people to think. So by causing confusion, confusion with all these new translations, he is able to cause people to doubt the truth of the Word of God that says that we are sinners in need of a Savior, Jesus, to keep us out of hell. Suddenly, in the mid-20th century, other translations really began becoming popular. Why? Why, over time, have modern translations like the NIV, the, Re the Revised Standard Version, and the New Revised Standard Version made headway against the King James Bible? There are now hundreds of different translations all competing with each other. I want you to ask yourself and consider 
the removal of the word begotten from John 3.16 by new translations of the Bible. While the authors of these new translations, like too many children who don't respect their parents today, similar to this, why do these authors of these translations think that the 20 generations that the that the 20 generations or so before them are fools when none of the 20 generations before felt the need for all these new translations. Why did the current generation feel the need for hundreds of new translations all of a sudden? Why did they feel the need for all these new translations? John 3.16 in the King James Version says, and this is the King James Version, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The word begotten is a very important word in this passage. It means being of one substance with. Now 99% of the new translations leave this word out. The new, the new King James Version is the only one I think that has it in there. These new translations say his only son or one and only son. There is a very important scripture that Jesus spoke when he was on the cross. It's John 19, 26 to 27. And it, Jesus said, or, or, or the scripture says, When Jesus therefore saw his mother, and this is when he was on the cross, John 19, 26 to 27 says, When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. Behold thy mother. And from that hour the disciple took her the disciple took her unto his own home. And John 1, 1 through 3 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So John 1, 1 says, Jesus was with God and He is God. These two scriptures illustrate why the King James Bible translators use the word begotten, being of one substance with. Because Jesus was indicating, as He did in John 1, 1 in other places in the Bible, that He is God and of one substance with the Father and the Holy Ghost. You see, leaving out this word in the New Translations saying, quote-unquote only son or quote-unquote one and only son implies that Jesus is not exactly the same as the Father and the Holy Spirit. It needs to be added here that Jesus is the God-man. He chose to take human form to suffer all the temptations those he saves will suffer and through his sinless life he overcame death and rose on the third day from the dead to save those who believe in Him as Lord and Savior. But as the word begotten indicates, and places in the book of John indicate, He is of God sharing exactly the same substance as God the Father and God the Holy Ghost. I want you to listen to this song. Jesus, I hope something I said helps someone ask it. Your name and for your sake, amen. But the translation of the Bible you choose is very important. And John 14, 26 says, when you choose, when you read the Bible, ask the Holy Ghost to teach you. He'll teach you in all truth. There's no way to understand the Bible unless you ask the Holy Ghost to teach you as you're reading it. There's a church 2,000 years till now He's seen them come and go Unto today in which they bow Cafeteria style religion No clue who God is People's rights instead of God Their spirituality instead of his Laodicea Got to get back to God Lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, increasingly wretched. Behold, he stands offering 
go while it may be veg. Cafeteria star religion, no clue God is. People's rights, instead of God's, their spirituality instead of yes. Laodicea, got to get back to God. Twenty generations before you, they never changed the Bible. Two days emerging church versions make the preacher liable. Cafeteria star religion, no clue who God is. People's rights instead of God's, their spirituality instead of his. Laodicea, Laodicea. Laodicea, Laodicea, go back to God. Laodicea, got to get back to God. Through saving faith you will dwell with Jesus whom God sent. Overcame death to save, be zealous and repent. Cafeteria star religion, no clue who God is. People's rights instead of God, their spirituality instead of his. Laodicea, 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 Laodicea.